Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Esperanza. I'm a full-time content creator originally from the Pacific Northwest, but I've been living in Pittsburgh going on two years now with my fiance Skylar and Labradoodle Indio. So I have been back from my early April trip to Arizona for I think a little over a week and a half now, but I've been wanting to show you guys what I got while I was thrifting in Phoenix. And I have a couple of things from Target that I wanted to show you guys and also a PR package to unbox from my favorite. So my parents actually retired in the Phoenix metro area. I think about four years ago now, not positive, but I was visiting them earlier this month and while I was there we were able to do a little bit of thrifting at some of their local Goodwills and I found two items that I'm super excited to show you guys. The first of which is this really cute macrame crochet purse with a um, bamboo handle. It's very bohemian of course. Definitely vintage. I'm trying to look inside for a label. Oh, you know what? This might actually not be vintage because I'm looking at the label now and it says accessories on it. So it was probably just made to look vintage, not real vintage like I was thinking, but it's still super cute. I actually styled this with a few of my outfits in Tucson and it was super cute. The inside of the bag is still in really good condition. The only thing that was in here like markings wise was this red m probably somebody's initial but other than that it was in great condition so we picked this up for i'm sure it was under three dollars at one of the goodwills i also scored this amazing vintage leather jacket my parents got both of these for me which was super nice of them this one was actually ten dollars so just a little, not, not spendy, but a little bit spendier of an item, but definitely worth it because this is such an amazing trench coat. I have had my eye out for a jacket like this whenever I have gone thrifting in the past, and I've never seen one that was in this nice of a condition at that price and that fit me this well. So this was definitely a score. The brand is yoga collection i think this is most likely from the 90s and um what i can tell it is genuine leather let's see there is a tag here 100 percent genuine leather lining nylon it's an amazing condition i'm gonna try to wear it as much as i can this spring and maybe in the evenings in the summer here although it does get pretty hot but this would be a great piece for fall as well i'll definitely style this a lot in the fall season there were definitely a ton of really cool items but i had to pass on most of it because i didn't have a ton of extra room in my suitcase but the leather jacket and the purse fit in there perfectly once i took a few things out that i brought to my family as gifts so i had a little bit of extra room for those items my mom also got this super cute little palm fan for me at um the frederick which is this really cool like collective building space where there are i believe eight women owned businesses there it's super super cute it's like very mid-century style all of the boutiques are very adorable and very aesthetic so she actually got this for me at this flower shop there i don't remember the name but i will try to leave it here for you guys while i'm editing this video i'll just like look it up or something but it was about 15 dollars and i've been really wanting a palm fan like this so she got it for me and it was a little bit of a pain getting it home safely but luckily i was able to get it here um, in one piece although going through security um, one of the airport employees almost completely smashed it so definitely lucky that i got it home in one piece i styled it in this thrifted ceramic vase that is on Skylar's nightstand and it looks super cute there 
and definitely very boho chic. Okay, so next I have a few items from the Target dollar slot to show you guys. So first up is this adorable palm fan. I've actually thrifted a few, one of which is in my bathroom, and then the other ones I've thrifted I actually have sold in my boho shop, Urban Darling shop, but I haven't seen any on any of my recent thrift trips for a while, so I figured I would pick this up. It's smaller than the sizes that I usually see. It was only $5, which is not too much more than what I would have gotten it at the thrift store for, so I thought I would get this as a really cute little tabletop accessory decoration, and it actually looks really cute styled on that nightstand as well. I actually had a bunch of these, so who knows, maybe I'll get another one because I do think it looks so cute as like a little tabletop accessory and it'll be nice in the summer. Um, I think that's kind of what they were meant for. They had like a ton of a patio uh, decor out in that section right now. I also picked up these faux palm fans. These are in this really pretty kind of like burnt orange earthy brown color. I actually went and exchanged these. I had picked out a different one before, but I like this style better and it's a little bit bigger. The other ones were like kind of tiny. Um, so I thought that these would actually maybe look cute styled with my real dried palm fan that my mom got me, but I might just style them in like other spots in my apartment. We'll see, but it was only $3 and they had a ton of them, lots of different varieties like um, green leaves and all kinds of different fun little picks to decorate with. They definitely had a ton of really cute like boho style stuff right now, if that's what you guys like, which I'm guessing that you do if you are here on my channel. But um, I would definitely take advantage of that because they had a ton of really cute stuff in because I think now that we're getting into summer, we'll see a lot of really fun like boho summer type stuff. Okay, so next up is a package from Parachute that I am going to unbox for you guys. They sent this out and I think it was meant to be opened on Earth Day. Um, but I've been very, very busy since getting back from my trip shooting campaigns and stuff, so I didn't really have the chance to open it until now. Plus I wanted to film it for you guys. A couple days past Earth Day, but I'm very excited to see what is in here. Okay, so I switched up the angle a bit so that you guys can hopefully see into the box. It's really big and it was making the stabilizer and my phone wobble, so had to kind of move things around a little bit. So I've got my box up here on my bench. Okay, so it looks like there's a couple of things in here. Okay, so let's see. It's this really cute little like tote basket, almost like a little like laundry type basket. Um, let's see, I think I might just move back actually. Okay, I'm actually gonna sit down for this. So I'm just gonna go through everything in the basket. Got some information about the brand as well. The Organic Cotton Collection. So it says in February, 2022, we launched our first ever organic cotton collection. This box includes the organic cotton knit throw and the organic cotton robe, two of our favorite pieces. The collection includes organic bedding, bath, loungewear, and robes. Find out more about our sustainability commitments at parachutehome.com. So that's one of the things I love about the brand is that they are sustainable. I actually also love this paper that they used. It has like almost a terrazzo type like spackling on it. It's like pink tinted, has like this parchment type texture. I actually just really love that paper that they use. Okay, so back to the basket. Let's see here. Okay, so this must be the organic cotton robe. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. So it's kind of like this thin material, super soft, long, um, robe. We have like the cotton tie here, so I'll have to try this on in a second. It is a size small. Okay, great. And this is their color bone that I love. I actually have that color um, for some of my bedding. It's this 
nice neutral off-white color. Um, we have two little boxes here. I will open those up for you guys in a second. We have some generous Coffee Co. Golden City Espresso Medium Roast. I was actually needing some espresso beans, so this is perfect. And the packaging is like almost too pretty to open. I love it, so colorful. It's like this really pretty, it almost looks like a graffiti mural or something, but it's so pretty. Excited to try that. Ooh, this is super cute. Brew reusable glass cup. Oh, there's like a really good picture here on the back. That is so adorable. I love these like simple neutral colors. So that is gonna be really cute, especially for trips to the park this spring and summer. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so cute. I've always wanted a blanket like this. It's a chunky knit um, oatmeal colored blanket. I swear I've been looking for a blanket like this for ever now, but I either don't see them or they're like not quite the right thing. So this is so perfect actually. I love the neutral oatmeal color. It's gonna look so good thrown onto our couch or leather armchairs or something, or even like at the end of the bed. These look so cute. So I don't wanna unravel it completely right now, but it looks like it's a super big size too. So that is going to be so cute. And I'm definitely gonna get a lot of use out of this. So that's amazing. And I think that's it. So everything was also in this tote bag. Oop, the lighting's getting kind of weird. So everything was in this um, really neutral, kind of like a tapestry type material um, fabric basket. It's really like stiff and sturdy. So I think that this is actually gonna be really good for like a laundry basket. Otherwise, maybe I'll use it to like um, style some blankets in, but this must also be from their line. So very cute. Um, let me just really quickly open these up to see what they are. Okay, so the robe is a little big on me. I probably would have needed like an extra small or something just because I have really short legs, but that's okay because I can give this to Skylar or something. It's super, super soft and very lightweight. So it's actually perfect for going into the summer months here because it does get very hot and humid in Pittsburgh. It would also be perfect for lounging around in and I love the neutral color. I just unboxed these and they are two cookies with a really cute P4 parachute. Okay guys, I need to get back to editing all of my Arizona content. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. If you guys haven't checked them out already, both of my Arizona travel vlogs are already up on my YouTube channel. And I am currently working on editing tons of TikTok videos. I've been posting a few already and I have one blog post out so far, but there are going to be many more Arizona, specifically Phoenix and Tucson travel blog posts and videos coming very soon on all of my social media platforms and on my blog thurbandarling.com so be sure that you are following me at thurbandarling on all socials and please check out my blog thurbandarling.com for more content also please be sure to give this video a like leave a comment down below and if you guys have a friend or maybe a family member who you think would enjoy this content as well please be sure to share my channel with them so that you guys can help me grow my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.